that warehouse to operate the nearby train line. If you can gain access, we might be able to repurpose it for the resistance. Welcome to Earlston YZ. Hey Brady, we managed to get a real foothold in Elm Tree thanks to you, and that's let us force a route through into here, Earlston Yellow Zone. Just in time, too. My guys are being held at the police station, and God only knows what the Norks are doing to them. We gotta get them out before they give up any information. But here's the thing. This is Yellow Zone. That means heavy security. And what's worse, the KPA are hunting you, Brady. And I won't lie, it's gonna be hard just to move around, never mind mount a rescue. But we got no choice. First thing you do, you hide your gun. Then you have to use the civilians as cover, try to blend in. There'll be a KPA transceiver in the zone. I suggest you make that your first target. But before you go, we got a few tricks up our sleeves. Look upstairs on the table. I think you'll find it very useful. Good luck, Brady. I'm counting on you. Hey, Brady. If you're heading out, we got some fire. In the yellow zones, KPA forces will recognize you as a wanted man and trigger the global alarm. In order to avoid detection, ensure you keep civilians between you and any soldiers and stay out of sight of cameras, vehicles, and drones. Engaging in combat will also set off the alarm. If the alarm is raised, the KPA will begin hunting you down for as long as the alarm remains active. If you can break line of sight, then the alarm level will begin to reduce, but you can accelerate the cooldown by using hide spots. Be warned, though. You can't enter a hide spot while in line of sight of KPA forces, and no safe house will let you enter at all while the alarm is active. Once the alarm level reaches zero, the alarm stops and the pursuit will end. Distraction devices are especially useful here. Throw them to move enemies out of your path or to confuse them while you make your escape. Nothing like them for making a distraction. Put that away for God's sake.
Where you're going out of the way now hey come on we're trying to work here start a revolution, you need to persuade ordinary people to join the fight. The map shows your progress towards inspiring the district to rise up and the five different categories of actions that will contribute to your total. These are strike points which must be captured. Voice of Freedom, where you tune radios to the resistance station. Sabotage, where you destroy KPA infrastructure. Acts of liberation, such as saving people from police brutality. And finally, destroying the APCs that patrol the streets. In addition to raising hearts and minds, you also earn KPA tech points which can be used to buy weapon conversion, guerrilla toolkit deployment methods, and new kit items. Once hearts and minds reaches 100%, you can activate the broadcasting of resistance propaganda across the district. This will cause the people to rise up and allows access to the KPA's key strongholds in the district. Hey Brady, it's Ned. Nice job getting the intel on the district. Now we know what we're up against. 
You can see the police station where they're holding my guys. But there's no way we can mount a rescue at the moment. The Norks have total control. We need to change that. We have to get the people on our side. Appeal to their hearts and minds. With them behind us, our rescue stands a chance. And once we get the info on Walker, we can make our move. I gotta get back to the armory before some damn fool blows it sky high, but I'll stay in touch. Good luck, Brady. Billy Alpha, this is Tony. Go ahead, Tone. We lost the vehicle transporting Walker. Gonna try and pick up the trail again. Fuck. Okay. Any sign, you let us know. Paris says he wants some hard info ASAP. You got it. 